you guys I'm gonna go ahead and jump right off into this video we're gonna be featuring a drawstring ponytail from the company Yaro off of Amazon they sent me this drawstring ponytail and it is a curly afro drawstring ponytail they sent it to me for review and I could absolutely say this ponytail is very easy to apply it's very easy to style and it is one of my favorite go-to drawstring ponytails like my son thought this was actually my hair until I pulled it off so I wanted to say thank you to Yaro for sending me out this drawstring ponytail I am looking forward to getting another one if not bigger from you guys if y'all want to know any details about this hair or where you could purchase it from please check down below in the hot box for all of the details now it's time for makeup yes we're gonna use the Norvina palette because you guys I really haven't used this palette on camera yet so we're gonna start off with the color base and forgive me if you guys catch when that I'm looking directly at the palette <laughs> I had to use it but I'm using base in my brow bone and then we're gonna use intense as a as a um transition transition shade you guys ugh, today has been a very long day and I wanted to kind of test myself and use just the Anastasia brush that it comes with and excuse my dog if y'all hear him in the background I just gave him a bath so he's acting kind of extra right now so I did dip off into the shadow passion and I'm gonna use that in my outer V plus in my the socket of my eye and I'm trying to keep it as a V shape and just placing it right there on the outer part and like I said I have been trying to use this brush alone just to see I never use brushes that come with palettes but because Anastasia is supposed to be so good I decided to try to use this brush and I am gonna keep the eyeshadow look real simple because it seems that you guys like the simple look so I'm gonna stick with that and I didn't want to do too much of cut creases or bases or anything like that I just really wanted to play with the colors on its own so that color dreamer that I'm placing on my mobile lid it is okay but I bet you anything it would be the bomb if I had an eyeshadow base to it but I mean for a soft everyday kind of glam look I, I think I was you know extremely okay with the way the look came out so I am gonna use my Lancome purple pencil check down below in the hot box for the actual name but I have been using this one lately I got it from a gift set in Sephora and it is one of my favorite little waterline colors I kind of like it I'm gonna use my wet n wild mega liner you know the old school jam jam I'm gonna use that and do my wing liner and you guys I never really show wing liner on my channel only because it's like the devil to do it on camera but I thought I should try it and give you guys a simple I call thin wing liner using the wet n wild which is like my ride or die little um, liquid liner I I mean I do any types of twist and turns and all that just to get these wing line lines like really sharp and crisp and I don't use tape like that no more so I'll be trying to do what I can hopefully you guys are enjoying that I'm actually putting some stuff on camera and not just skipping out um, but I do go in with that and I make it as long and as thin as possible I do have to have the mirror like in my soul so that I can see but I mean it is what it is nothing too dramatic um, I didn't do the brows on camera y'all seen me do that plenty of times when I do like my first impressions or my full get ready with me that's why I don't use it at times so I'm gonna go with my no problem primer by touch and soul you guys saying no problem is so freaking hard but this is one of the items I got in a boxy charm, and I can say I truly like it. It makes your skin look real smooth. The pores are blurred, and it's really soft. 
y'all know I had to take my my Red Bull break. So let's talk about this Derma Blend Foundation, the Flawless Creator. Oh my God, you guys, I bought this on a whim because I never heard nobody talk about it. And I'm starting to do, um, I'm starting to buy products like that, uh, products that nobody have like really been talking about. And so I seen this and I was like, okay, Derma Blend, let me give you a shot because the last foundation I got from them, I did not like, but I do like their their um, primer. But I could tell y'all, y'all gonna see, like, I, I don't know if I'm using this foundation right, but it is a weird foundation. Maybe I need to read up on it more and come back with a full passion detail review for you guys because I mean y'all can see it I don't I don't know about it I don't know so I had to pull in my Maybelline Dream Wonder in Cappuccino because I was just looking a little a little too you know brightish so I needed to bring just a little bit more melanin to my skin you know give me just that red tint ish to myself so that's what I did and I just blended that right on top but I don't know you guys I really I don't know about the derma blend you guys let me know are y'all familiar with derma blend do y'all recommend it do you not I mean I know y'all come to me for you know recommendations and stuff but uh I just don't know I, I don't I don't know so I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I will have the actual shade linked down below. Um, I think I did a review on these concealers. If you want to, you could Google search um, A. Marie and L'Oreal Infallible Concealers, and it should pop up if I did a review. But if, I, if I'm thinking right, I did do a review. But I think I have like three shades of this, so yeah. That'll tell you how I feel about it. So I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Stick, which is really a concealer stick. And, <clears throat> excuse me, she pulls a whole lot of red. So you're going to see me pull out my Makeup Revolution um, Foundation and Conceal. I don't know the actual shade, but it's a little bit more cool tone. I'm going to just mix that on top of that just to balance out. And we're going to go ahead and blend that out. And I put it everywhere that's a low light. And yeah, we're just gonna get that started. <gasps> Y'all look at that shit. Like what in the, what? Bruh. Come on now. <laughs> I can't believe I went out like that for the day. Like I did not even notice that. And I'm upset with myself that I actually walked out the house with just, you could tell I had a mask on that day. Like what was I thinking? So here I am using my Morphe Beauty Sponge to blend out my contour as well as my highlighter. I love this beauty sponge. If you guys have not tried Morphe's Beauty Sponge, go get you one. Go get you one. I don't have no coupon code or no affiliate code with them, but baby, go get you one of these because I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to flip the sponge and blend out my concealer. And I let the concealer sit for a little while because Jackie Ina taught us if you let it sit there for a while, it will dry up and get more tacky and give you a bit more coverage. So after learning that from her, you know, everybody take everything from Mama Jackie and we do it and it actually works. I love using that as a technique. No matter how loose or thin your concealer is, if you let it sit there, it's gonna give you a full coverage. So the Ruby Kisses Professional Pro Touch setting powder is like a th thing nowadays. Like, I don't know if you haven't used it, I don't know where you've been since, but uh, get you some banana powder by uh, Kiss Professionals, Ruby Kisses, whatever you would like to call them, you find them at the beauty supply store. And this is a gem I found in the beauty supply a while back and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is so finely milled. Like you guys, y'all have to try it. Now the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Base Mascara. Y'all, I just been trying to use this up. I really like my Lancome one, but the L'Oreal, I just, I gotta use it up. I just gotta use it up. 
And if I'm not mistaken, that's my Black Radiance um, contour powders. And I'm using a darker shade and going all around those low lights where I cream concealed. Um, I'm not so I'm sorry, not cream concealed, cream contoured, and I'm just setting it basically. I'm setting it, snatching up my nose with that same powder. And when I did the little circular motion on the tip of my nose, I learned that from NUA Black Swan here on YouTube. That is another gem. I pick up techniques from everybody. Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Locket uh, setting spray and we're going to go in with the L'Oreal liquid lipstick. Once again, all every product will be down below because I can't remember the name, but these are very lightweight and very soft and long wearing. So this is the finished look, you guys. Y'all still see where the foundation ended. Like, oh my God. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. And hopefully you guys will check down below in the hot box and let me know your thoughts and purchase whatever you need. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.